Hey everyone, it's Amateur, and this is a little bit of a video response, um, I'll explain why, <laughs> um, for, I know you guys are probably thinking, like, it either is or it isn't, it's like if you're pregnant, you either are or you're not, you're not a little bit, um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry, conversation I had yesterday at work, um, so this is a video response for Tracy. She is Shytown Tracy, and she's also the owner of ArtAttackSupplies.com, uh, which I'm a uh, design team for. But um, she's having a birthday challenge, and her birthday challenge is pretty awesome, you guys. You guys really need to go over there and join in. Um, the prize is a $50 gift card for merchandise from her shop. And if you've seen my hauls, you know she has the good stuff. And she has tons of the tilde paper. So seriously, think about it. Um, with that, you could buy two, uh, two tilde pads. Cray cray. Um, so anyway, and other like embellishments and stuff. So anyhow, um, if you guys saw my previous video, this is going to be her birthday gift. This is that organizer that I made for the design team project for, um, Genus Designs, which by the way, awesome store. Love her stuff. Um, but I don't like to, me personally, I don't like to use um, a project for like um, a video response and a DTA project. I mean, they're always they're usually gifts, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit, you know. Anyway, so in any case, I told her that, um, I, I told her yesterday that this was her gift, but I also told her that she's going to take even longer to get because I still have to make a birthday card. Um, so I guess I'm going to use that as my, yeah, as my entry or whatever, but either way, it, I told her that's what it's for. And, and anyhow, if she doesn't put me in the, in the, uh, giveaway, that's fine. Um, I still get, you know, stuff from her store anyway, but, um, let me show you, I took the idea from, I basically took this idea of the back and by the way, I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and they had several signs, like metal signs, because this is an actual, this is a metal sign. Um, it's not chipboard or anything, it's a full on metal sign. And they had some in the clearance section. I always check the clearance section, trust me. If you guys have seen some of the things I've made, like um I made the project life organizer for um for Carol and she's a uh, one happy crafted chick here on YouTube. I hate Carol. Um that was from the clearance section, and these were like 49 or 99 cents or something like that. Anyway, they have some right now. I don't know if they're on to me. I mean, we're like reusing their like clearance stuff, but they had some that were like 4.99 or 9.99. I'm like, shut up, not gonna happen. Ooh, but I will show you what I did get. So anyway, I'll show you that later. Um, so this is what I made her. I told her I still had to make the card. Now, this is my card, and like I said, I basically took the same idea from um from the background of it and kind of made a card now i've been wanting to make this card um i've seen them on pinterest and i didn't create it i didn't you know i'm not stealing anybody's idea um i saw this idea and it's really really awesome i'm like oh my gosh what i think of that it's like super awesome right um and i've seen several cards i really don't know who was the first person that you know pulled it out of their nose or whatever um so but it's really cool because what it is, and it doesn't even look like this, truth be told. I kind of did that on my own. Um, it's the card. And this is five and a half by five and a half. Sorry for the glare, you guys. I'm The sun's like right here and it's really early. Um, so the original one has just a fold right here, which holds it and stands. Look at that. And it stands, I, I don't know if you call this a teepee card or and not toilet paper because that's disgusting. Um like I just it's a standing card like how awesome is that like I said I had to do this because the reason why I had to fold several little ones is because I wanted the opening very large so it came all the way down to here um and, and the cool thing it's still a card it'll still it's super embellished and it's very dimensional anyway but it look at that it folds flat so you can ship it flat and I'll show you let me grab my iPad um, as usual, you guys know I'm never prepared. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much I try to prepare for my videos. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'll have this over here, and then I'll put this over here, and yeah, and then there's always that one thing I totally forget. But, um, I'm grabbing my iPad so I can pull up the picture, um, so I can show you guys the picture that I saw. Like I said, I really, I try to go back, um, and find, like, um, I guess my iPad's not, like, working. And and the picture that I saw, and this one is by Catherine Crumel from Crumel Base uh, Blog. 
but um that's 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 what i saw and it has you know it was like that it has a little circle opening and see how it has just the the, the fold right there but because this space is, is is a pretty substantial space so you're able to make that big one i had to make a little tiny one so yeah so catherine super cute card love it so yeah um you know that way nobody says i'm stealing anything um so what i used was for the birthday stamp the happy birthday i used this stamp set and this one is by stampin up and it's something to celebrate it's that one right there i wanted something with a thick um line kind of situation and, and this was just made out of scraps. I just made a little banner, stamped it on that, and then I backed it on this one. And just like the um, the the little thing that I made, the organizer, I took some of the thread cards and I actually wrapped them in real thread. That one's pink. There's some pink one here. And then I actually left the little um, pieces just kind of hanging out. The green, and this is like that teal blue. Super awesome. Use some of the die cuts over there. Oh, and look, she bounces. I put her on some acetate so she's flying she's flying oh i shouldn't be flicking poor tail though right um but here's the thing the funny thing is i was gonna have her dangling from a thread like you know just glue a thread from the back and so she would move and sway but then i did it it looked like i she committed harry carry so i'm like okay that's not that doesn't really say happy birthday it just says look there's a tilde hanging dangling from her from a rope basically a nice pink rope but rope nonetheless um so yeah so i just decided to put on acetate and all that is is just a piece of acetate let me i know some people have asked me sometimes i don't ah, i don't have the acetate with me but i'll show you on a little piece of paper that it wasn't cut very well okay so let's say this is a little piece of acetate and you want to get it you know small right here and i use hot glue to glue on my acetate because you really can't use just regular glue so all i do is take a piece of acetate depending on how much you want to stand out and i fold it like that i know right rocket surgery um so then i just glue one to the base of the card let's say this is let's say my hands the base of the card and then i glue the item on here Okay. But first I glue the base. Okay, I glue the base and then I glue this to this and it's right here. Nope. Oh, that didn't help my and it just like that. So then it just dangles. I mean it sways and it moves or whatever. But honestly, that's all it is. You can get packaging, you can get the, the packaging from your stamps, you can get, you know. Anyway, you don't have to go out and buy special acetate, okay? Don't. Oh, and what I used is the Recollections um, Heavyweight Cardstock. And I was going to put another card here, but this thing is still flat and perfect. You can write your message and everything, and it could stand. Now, the reason I totally, totally love this idea, so whoever invented it, you're amazeballs, um, is because sometimes our cards um, are so heavily embellished that they fall. Or they fall, you know, they, they open up... Um, uh from the bottom see like let me this is the first one i tried i made this too thin i used the different spell binders um so when you put it like that they eventually you know do that and when you put them like this sometimes you that's not the direction you want it depending on the size but this look at it oh my gosh it stands super awesome but yes look at oh, once again just beating up on that poor tail um so yeah so that is what i use i'm trying to where did my dice go See, I had them here a minute ago. I'm like, okay, I'm going to put them here so I can show them. All right. So I used this dies. I used the Spellbinder Grand. I think this is the labels one. Yeah. I used the second from the smallest. No, I used the smallest one, I think. And then this background doily, just super gorgeous. I absolutely love it. That one, I used this. This is a Joy Crafts um, die. And this actually has a set. I have, oh yeah, I have all of these because I'm crazy like that. Um, so that's the one I used. And let me show you. I have, I've used these before, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Because I was going to use this one first. But then I used that one with the stars. And I like that there were stars in the back. So it looks like she's flying because she's a little angel. Um, yeah, I've lost my mind. Um, so, yeah. So, Tracy, there is your card. Maybe I shouldn't have shown it, but whatever. Um, there's, I get, and like I said, this, you know, for your birthday challenge. Um, I just wanted to put something out there and let you guys know that she's having an awesome, awesome giveaway. Off the top of my head totally forgot who um uh totally forgot when her challenge is over because i'm getting old like that um so yeah so you know you guys check it out uh check out her challenge and i absolutely love this i love using the thread and i actually have my mom was is a seamstress so she gave me tons of this. she's like take all the colors i'm like no i won't need it. i just need white yeah no you need every color just why because um and use tons of little die cuts on here a little oh and once again i did use the foam 
I had to go get some more foam of the thinner one. But I absolutely love, and even with the acetate, look, it, go, it can go seriously flat. So you can flatten it up and send it out. I have to find a big old box for that thing to go with, so I'm, I won't have to flatten it out. But I absolutely love it. So yeah, so if you have just thread lying around you guys, wrap around those things, and super cute. And some of the cards actually come with... You can see, look, this is the scrap, this is the mess. Some of the, um, let's see, like, there's little things and the, the buttons. Let me find it. See, these come without any threads. You could put whatever thread you totally want on there. The buttons, um, these already have thread. So you can, I just basically, you know, took that as suggestion and just went with it. And the fact that I had that, um, that thread available. And then I just took some of my, vin I just realized I just took some of my vintage buttons and just glued a few on there. Because that was an afterthought or else I would have sewn them on. But yeah. Super cute. I absolutely love, 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 love it. Hope you like it, Tracy. You guys let me know what you think. And um, so yeah, go check out the challenge. And hopefully um, this weekend I took a few extra days off. Don't tell anybody. I don't like to tell people when I take extra days off because then they like want me to do something for them. Um, and it's just me time. And I hopefully plan to get some crafts out. Um, by the way, just a little, one of these next videos coming up will be my, um, a giveaway. All right. Simple, easy. Bye.